Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. The second full trailer for Frozen 2 was just released this morning, and after the vagueness of the previous two trailers, I'm really hoping we get a little bit more information about the story here. The original Frozen isn't exactly my favorite movie. I think it's alright, but I definitely don't have the connection that so many people have with it. So I think my initial excitement for the sequel is a little bit lower than most people, but I have liked the seemingly darker tone of these trailers we've gotten so far, so I'm definitely curious. Let's check it out. Far away, as north as we can go, once stood an enchanted forest. You see an enchanted forest? Yes, it was a magical place, but something went wrong. Since then, no one can get in or out. Wow, Papa, that was epic. Okay, so we got a bedtime story going on. What would I do without you? You'll always have me. Has Elsa seemed weird to you? She seems like Elsa. There's this voice. Voice? What does that mean? Excuse me, I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen heart, and saved you from my ex-boyfriend, so, you know, I'm coming. That's normal. So it's the area from the Where bedtime story. We? How did you get in the forest? The mist parted for us. Impossible. Where did you learn magic? Don't run into fire! Magic is very alluring. Without you, she may lose herself to it. Protect Arendelle at all costs. I believe in you, Elsa, more than anyone or anything. Oh man, riding the ice horse now. Question. Is the whole putting us in mortal danger going to be a regular thing? <laughs> All right, so we definitely get a little bit more information here, a little bit more for the story, uh, which I think is nice. It doesn't go too far, uh, but definitely a bit more than the teaser trailer and trailer one gave us. Uh, I'm a sucker for origin stories, and it seems like that's the route they're going for here. Um, and, and I really like the, the way they're going about it with the bedtime story. Um, so we get the incorporation of her parents again, and her parents, her father's telling um, Elsa and Anna this story that seems to uh, actually be real, right? A real place, this um, enchanted forest. And so that's kind of interesting. I think... Um, having that that aspect there indicates that her parents kind of knew what happened and were trying to tell her maybe but were waiting till she got a little bit older but unfortunately they disappeared before they got the chance uh, but i think that bedtime story is going to be a little bit more important to the overall plot than just set up and kind of oh cute young anna and elsa i really think that because of that story the two of them will kind of know more about what's going on than they realize. That, you know, they're going to be out on this adventure and they're going to see something and be like, oh, that's what dad, you know, used to tell us about in this story. And they're going to be able to piece things together and figure stuff out because of this bedtime story. That's, you know, real life. Um, so I think that's, that's an interesting aspect. The whole forest, um, the enchanted forest with the idea of the magic, it kind of takes a different route, uh, but a similar approach, but a different way of looking at the themes of the first movie. Because in the first one, Elsa was really uh, fearful and kind of scared of her powers of not being able to control them and kind of had issues because of that. Here, it makes it seem like 
now that she has more control, that that she's going to maybe succumb to this um, power and like having power. And so that's a different element there, a different aspect that I think is going to be kind of interesting to, to explore. Um, I really still like the fall setting. I really enjoyed it about the, the teaser trailer and trailer number one. I think the, the fog and leaves and kind of forest setting is way more visually interesting than the snowy ice scape of the original Frozen. So I hope we get a lot, um, a lot of time out in the forest and in that setting. Uh, but the, I really like the little ice gecko thing. I hope that has um, some bigger component to the story and that we get to see lots more of that ice gecko. Uh, I still don't really like Olaf all that much. I know he's like a big draw to the franchise for a lot of people and that so many people love his character, but I can't stand him. And, you know, I was hoping maybe he's going to be toned down in this movie, but judging from that kind of end part of the trailer, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to be disappointed in that regard. Um, but overall, I think, I think it looks pretty solid. I think it looks like it's going to be good. Um, I think it looks better than the first movie. Now, of course, it's not necessarily saying all that much because I only thought the first movie was just all right. So I think this one's going to be kind of in that same boat for me, but I, I'm curious. I'm interested in it and I'm definitely going to end up seeing it. So those are just my thoughts on the trailer. But what did you think about it? Are you excited for another Frozen movie or are you kind of okay with just having the one? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. All right, so if you got some enjoyment or insight out of this reaction, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe while you're at it to see more videos like this, as well as movie reviews. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies, the way life should be.